me, I'm Lauren, and today on Hollywood Party, I'm going to be doing the July book haul. I hate the word haul. I also hate redoing videos. So this is the beginning of my video, but the rest of my video is going to say June, because I didn't realize I put freaking June on my sign. It's too hot to redo the whole damn video, so July book haul, says June, whatever, it's a freaking book haul. I went shopping. Enjoy yourself. I went to Barnes Noble because they have free air conditioning and I got some books in the clearance rack and there was a lot of them so I would recommend going and using a bookstore's AC because it's freaking hot where you live because it's hot as hell where I live. One of the first books I got was The Life and Times of Mickey Rooney. It's a nice like thick effing book because he lived to be like a kajillion years old. Um, it was seven bucks. That's pretty damn good for a hardback. Um, I'm not a huge Mickey Rooney fan. I can appreciate him. There's some movies I like him in, but he is super eccentric and even a way that I'm like, enough, Mickey Rooney, calm down. I have met him. I sat next to him at Cabaret um, when TCM did it. I think it was 2012. Did not think that was going to happen in my lifetime, but yeah, he was, he was nice. Like one of my friends went up to him and said that he really liked him. He was a nice guy. What I'm interested in reading, other than like all the chicks he banged, because for being the short little dude, he banged everybody. Interested to read about that, and I really want to read about um, the elder abuse that happened to him when he was older, which is super sad, but I want to know what happened. I, I kind of know, but still, I want to read about it. Um, the other book I got, Angelica Houston, she did Two, bio two autobiographies. This is the first part, and I didn't think I was going to like it. I haven't started reading a lot of it yet, but I've read some of it. It's basically the first half of her life, living in like Ireland and London, um, in kind of like I think she was a model a little bit. So I'm kind of interested in reading about her father. But the second part of her um, autobiography is about her like time in Hollywood and reading the reviews it's really funny because the people that read that would review it and they'd say oh she's just name dropping what the why else are you reading the book like I don't care about her aunt that I don't know you know Aunt Susie or whatever I don't care yeah tell me about what was it like effing Jack Nicholson yeah that's what I'm buying the damn book for I don't care about your fucking dog from when you were five the book I'm reading right now is Hello Gorgeous. This author, William Mann, he has written a lot of books about um, like gay old Hollywood, which is fascinating. Like I looked at the list of books he's read and or written. Sorry, um, Tinseltown was one of them. That was a like fiction, like historical fiction book. I really like that. It was about the William Desmond Taylor murder suicide. It was murder, definitely. Um, so I'll probably have to reread that and do a review on it. I remember liking it. Um, he did this. He did one on Elizabeth Taylor and Catherine Hepburn and, oh God, he just did one on the Roosevelt's, which like, aside from loving old Hollywood, I freaking love Teddy Roosevelt and Alice Roosevelt. If you don't know about Alice Roosevelt, she's like, gives zero Fs, basically. And she was awesome. I don't know if I'll do a review on that because it's nothing to do with my channel, but... Uh, I'll definitely read it. Another thing with this book is it's really thick. It is not her whole life, Barbara's whole life. It is like a five year period. It's like 500 pages. And I thought, cool, I can do, I can deal with that because it's basically leading up to her getting Funny Girl. And I freaking love Funny Girl. Like, this is the Barbara that I like. Like, her now, she got the money, she doesn't need to, like, sing, she doesn't need to do anything. She's, like, hungry for success and, like, wants it super hard. So it's really great to read it because it kind of, like, amps you up on doing whatever you're planning on doing with your life, if you need that. The other book I got that I'm going to read next for sure is You Must Remember This by Robert Wagner. It's really thin. The reason I got it, I'm not a huge Robert Wagner fan, and it kind of looks to me like a fun like frothy read. This is the first sentence or couple sentences in this book and this is the only reason why I bought it. I first noticed that show business had gone crazy in 2002. 
when my wife, Jill St. John, and I were guests at the wedding of Liza Minnelli and David Guest. Done. Yes, I want to know how crazy that was. Yes. So I got all these books for less than 25 bucks. It's pretty good. It'll keep me going for maybe a month or so. Um, let me know what you're reading in the summertime right now. Maybe I'll pick that up too. But definitely check out your local bookstore and see what they've got going on and use their air conditioning because like I'm sweating right now doing this damn video. So I'll see you next time. Bye.